What is motivating you outside of music? You know, you've got your family, you know, friends, if you get to see them, uh, LA. What kind of just motivates you and sort of gets you going and gives you that zest for life? Well, well I love travelling. Um, mm. So the, the pandemic has been quite, you know, that's been a bit difficult because mm. we, we travel a lot. Uh, I think a couple of years ago, I think we, we did 28 different countries in, in a year and a half. So we do travel a lot, and I think it's really important for the kids to see as much of the world as possible. I think it encourages tolerance. You know, I think you make people aware of different cultures, and that you know, people are just lovely the world over. They just have a you know, slightly different problems as you move around. I, I think it. Uh, you know, I think to show the children as much of the world as possible and the people in it, it is a is a, a good form of parenting. Mm. So we. You know, like, obviously I'm in a position to do that, so I know that's a luxury. But I do, I, you know, we do like to do that quite a lot. When I, mean, I used to be an air display pilot, I used to fly mm. air, old World War Two aeroplanes and air shows all over Europe. Did it for years. I've become an instructor for that. I was an examiner for that actually mm. for a bit. I used to used to fly helicopters, get helicopters actually. Um, you know, I used to have I flew around the world once a little aeroplane and got arrested in India for spying and all sorts of shit. You know, done done some really yeah. cool stuff um, but, and then the family come along and kind of everything all your own interests they, they mm. kind of just sort of evaporate slightly a yeah. little bit and your life becomes more what can you do for them and how can you can make their life better mm. um, and you sort of miss the life you had before a little bit but mm. not enough to want to sacrifice your kids life yeah. to indulge in it again I was hoping that I'd find some sort of balance during the two, but I never did. You know, it all just become the children. So of a, of a week, I, I I try to make sure that I don't work at weekends so that mm. I can. You know, we always do things things at weekends and go out and try to give them some interest. You know, because mm. they 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 be gone soon. You know, the oldest one is seventeen, so you know, a year or two she'd probably be gone, and then the others would follow that. So I will have plenty of time to get back into my own private little yeah. hobbies. I guess mm. I love boats. You know, I. I've, Maybe get back into boats again when I'm when I'm a bit older. Or aeroplanes, maybe you know, mm. fire that interest back up again. I don't know. I, I don't know. But at the moment, it's pretty much making sure the kids are doing their homework. And where can we Where can we take them on Sunday? That's pretty yeah. much it. Really. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I, I guess it's also about that kind of sharing and experience, isn't it? So it, it it doesn't just become. It's not just you having fun flying planes, boats, whatever, getting arrested. Uh, but you're also you know, how can I incorporate them into my life? How can we do something together as a family that's and, and just create yeah. new memories that way? I think that was my life. You know, my mm. my childhood was was just brilliant. And my mum and dad didn't have any money, so it was mainly going down to Weymouth in a little caravan. Nice. You know, but whatever it was, it was always we were together, and I was made to feel loved and important. And I'd grown up with thinking that's the way it should be. So that's what mm. I'm trying to do with mine. It's just I'm in a position where we can do a bit more than my mum and dad could do for me. But it's exactly the same idea mm. that you are creating memories. You are creating moments of happiness that will hopefully mm. allow them to become the best people they can be in the future. Not, not bitter and twisted and not feeling misunderstood or not listened to. You know, mm. the confident confident, capable kids that are willing to go out and, you know, just reach that a little bit further because you never know. You never yeah. know what's possible. And that's what you're trying to instill in them. But, you know, just to be happy, to be kind is really important. To be respectful of everybody, um, not think you're better than anybody. Or, you know, just those old-fashioned values, really. And I think they get that from just being, you know, from, from us all being together. That's why I am. You know, that's yeah. where my wife is. So. Um, but yeah, you know, I I don't. It's not like I've given up on my life. You know, I'm, I'm pretty aware that in a few years they're going to be gone, mm. out doing, out doing terrible things from me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and you know, I'll, I'll be back to, to me and my wife again. You know, we, we'll mm. go out and have do stuff the way we did before. So it, it's all you know, it's, it's all good. We're looking forward to what's coming.